going to mug me. I'm not going to mug you. Is that gorgeous or what, eh? And I believe I can run the Peace and Marathon. Download Veeley now. Bodybuilding, the sport where size is everything, has been popular in India for centuries. Only today can the country claim to have produced one of the most inspiring muscle men the world has ever seen. At two foot nine and weighing in at just under a stone and a half, Romeo Dev has been given the title of world's smallest bodybuilder. Once considered a curse by his family and hidden from the outside world, Romeo has emerged as one of India's rising stars. This film will look at how a man born with the rarest of conditions has battled against the odds to make himself seen. We follow Romeo as he leaves India for the first time and attempts to make an impact on the world's biggest stage. I think he's absolutely amazing. He is a talented young man. Pugwara in the Punjab region of northern India is the home of Manu Dev. Under three feet tall and less than two stone, Manu is the height of a normal two-year-old and the weight of a healthy one-year-old child. One of only a few hundred primordial dwarves in the world, 20-year-old Manu is fully grown. Amongst these neighborhood friends, Manu is the oldest. Although cherished by his family, Manu's condition has caused years of turmoil. At birth, Manu was one-fifth the size of a normal baby, weighing just one and a half pounds. Manu's rate of growth was far different from that of a normal child taking him 10 years to reach the size of a one-year-old.
Manu also had learning difficulties, which led to only a brief spell at a local school. As Manu's abnormal size was noticed in the community, the family became the object of ridicule. To protect him from the taunts of an unforgiving world outside, much of Manu's childhood was spent inside the family home. Manu's father, Anil, began to see his son as a curse. During this time of turmoil, behind closed doors, Manu started an obsession that would change the course of his life. Until the age of 18, primordial dwarf Manu Dev had spent much of his life indoors, protected by his parents from the cruel taunts of the outside world. Whilst spending much of his time listening to music and watching videos, Manu began to learn the dance steps of a particular Punjabi pop star. Jazzy B, the Punjab's answer to Justin Timberlake, is one of the biggest names on the Indian airwaves. As well as studying his style and moves, Manu has taken on one of Jazzy B's song titles so that when he leaves the house now, he becomes Romeo. After being spotted in his bedroom dancing alone, a family friend encouraged him to perform at a local festival. Two years on, and Romeo is now one of the most sought-after performers on the Punjabi entertainment circuit. Classically, 
Andırma. Bağırma yanda. Doktanını zindir. Dünyada çok da dans ederim. Dünyada çok da dans ederim. Pencabı da. Namı da olsun kuruz da. Romeo kitna kamanda hai? Thode na jada kamanda hai? Belkol mein na jada kamanda hai. Kitna jada? Mein na double kamanda. Having exceeded his father's respectable wage as a school teacher, Romeo is now the highest earner in the household. इस नू पेद होए आज ये दो साल हो गए इस नू पेद नू होए ते ऐसे ले है तो को ऐ कहना मतलब पंजाब दा एक मशहूर डांसर बन चुका है और क्योंकि रोमियो एक कह गया इस दी डिमांड दिन रात With Romeo's reputation spreading fast, it didn't take long for India's television networks to pick up the story. दोस्तों हम आपके सामने पेश करने जा रहे हैं कुदरत का एक ऐसा रूप एक इंसान। लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन, अब आपके सामने आ रहे हैं रोमियो एंड हिज फैमिली। सुबह सुबह। आह। सुबह। कंधे लगे। और मैंने ये लगता मनु ने ना तो मुंह ते तमाचा मारे हैं जड़े लोग ऐसे बारे में जाक बंदे सी कि पी ये कुछ नहीं कर सादा हूँ ना उन्होंने मनु ने ऐसा तो थप्पड़ मारे हैं वाह पी मैं हूँ थोड़ा तुष्य कुछ नहीं कर सादे तो मैं बो कुछ कर सादा हूँ अपनी छोटी हाइट दे बावजूद भी Having forged himself a career as a stage performer and vanquished his tormentors, Romeo began a new activity that would push his fame to another level. A deformed hip joint from an early age has led Romeo to have one leg shorter than the other. This has not stopped him from pursuing the most unlikely of sports. <laughs> पर चाके तो डंबर करते हैं देखिए अन्ना मेरे क्या तो डंबर करने का मैंने कहा मेरी बड़ी नहीं बनती भी क्या ना तू करता रहे अपने दोस्त को सुखिया क्या ना डर करी रहे मैं क्या डर लगा बंदा मैं कहूँ मैं डर करी गया ओ सच्ची गोल दुलार बाहर इकला है बस चल आ बाहर इकला पत्थर आ पत्थर बन गया जम गया पत्थ एक्सरसाइज करवाई दिया एरोबिक्स करवाने या जंपिंग शरीर की फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी ले उन्होंने एक्सरसाइज कराई दिया या वन टू थ्री फोर स्लोली गुड कट हाँ जो उसने मस्सल स्ट्रॉंग है काफी लुक वाइज अच्छे आ गया सिमिट्री अच्छी आ गया हाँ जी फिलहाल वो दो दो किलो का डंबल उठा रहा है का यस वन Yes, two. In February 2008, India's version of the Guinness Book of Records, the Limca Records, recognized Romeo as the world's smallest bodybuilder, creating media interest not only in India, but across the world. When I was <laughs> photos हिंदुस्तान से काटे लोग की जानते से के जान जानन लगे लेकिन बाहर दे लोग की बहुत जानन लगे मेरे कोल बहुत सारे क्योंकि पंजाबी इंग्लैंड दे बेच रहे हैं ते साढे बहुत सारे रिश्तेदार इंग्लैंड दे बेच रहे हैं उन आदि मेनु टेलीफोन आए ते कई बंदे आने मेनु अखबारां पे दिया कि आ देखो फाड़े मुंडे दी साये फोटो इतनी आई है
With Romeo's pursuits now capturing the imagination of the world's media, the opportunity has arisen for him to take his talents abroad. Tomorrow, Romeo and his parents will travel to America to have meetings with some of the entertainment industry's biggest names. We want to see how we can see where we can see, how we can see, how we can see, because we are going to go to the airport, or we will not think about it, but we will go to America. But I'm excited. Neman, do you want to go to America? Yes. Let's go to our style. Do you like it? Yes, I like it. It's my style. I like it. 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 पतली चाहिए थी तेरा बाप पर गोरी चाहिए थी हाँ गोरी चाहिए थी गोरी पतली सुनी कर Joined by his parents, Romeo will be travelling over 8,000 miles to LA. It's the first time they have been separated from their extended family. पास को अपनी ओर कीजिए ऐसा करने से ऑक्सीजन पास में आने लगेगी अपने नाखून पर पास में आएगी अजीब है ना इसमें सारी दुनिया जाने इस दी टैलेंट नो सारी दुनिया Accompanied by an interpreter, the family will be spending 10 days in California. It is the first time any of them have ever been outside of India. Whilst primarily in LA for business meetings, the family have the opportunity to experience some of the delights that America has on offer. And welcome aboard the Starline City Sightseeing Hop On Hop Off Panoramic Tour of Hollywood. <laughs> LA's comparatively laid back lifestyle offers the ideal chance to experience a new culture and mingle with the natives. <laughs> Me and him are the same age. It's crazy. Daddy, like, you got a young girl, 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 you got a young Today, they have a new member. Despite being only two foot nine, Romeo's presence has gone far from unnoticed. I'm 
absolutely in awe with him. <laughs> and so are a lot of other people, I'm sure. You look at someone like that that has this sense of confidence and this air about himself, and you admire it. So I don't see any disability. I just think of, I see just an amazing person. And when people exercise, what do you think about it? It's good, it's good. Having managed to make a good initial impression, Romeo and his parents are keen to find out if his talents could appeal to an American television audience. See Romeo. West Hollywood is the home of one of the entertainment industry's most renowned variety performance agents. Oh, hi, hi. Known as the Wizard of Odd, Chuck Harris has been in showbiz for over 40 years. Chuck Harris is the largest supplier of visual variety performers in the world. Do you know who this person is? Queen. That's the Queen oh, of England. Queen, Queen, Queen. And this is also? That's the uh, father of the president. Go. George Bush. George Bush. Right. You can't make it today in our business to be a variety act unless you're with Chuck Harris. I know that's a very big statement. It's a very egotistical statement, but it's the truth. Come, I'll show you some more stuff. But look at the toys over there. Toys. In my roster, I have over 10,000 of the most unusual variety performers in the world. I look for the act that is the best, the one of a kind. Good. Very good. Very Terrific. Good. Oh! Nice. This kid is great. He is a talented young man. Very, very talented young man. Explain to him what I said. Do you understand talent? Do you understand money? He he should be working all the time. This is a very talented kid. Give me give me five. Give me five. Oh! What was the first thing you thought when you saw Romeo? Uh, cha ching, cha ching. I think there's money here. Good dancer. There's money in in whatever you want if you know how to sell the product. With showbiz connections all over the world, Chuck is content that Romeo's unique selling points could be globally marketable. He has inherently the talent and the ability. He has the want and he has the unfortunate affliction of being a very, very small person. Anil is anxious for his son to have as many opportunities as possible and has accepted an offer from Chuck to help Romeo find work. One of Romeo's next meetings is with the talent scouts of one of the greatest shows on earth. Primordial dwarf Romeo Dev and his parents are in Los Angeles to try and further his career. Knowing very little about their son's rare condition, they also have the opportunity to seek expert medical advice for the first time. This is a form of, it's four words, and it actually does a good job describing what the disorder is. It's microcephalic, which is small head, osteodysplastic, which is abnormal sort of small bones, primordial, which means its onset is in utero, it's very early, and dwarfism. In a short way, we call it moped, M-O-P-E-D. Um, he is hard to believe even smaller than most of the children I've seen with this as adults. So for 19, he's 
on the small side even for this disorder. He has many of the features that are seen among people who have this disorder. You know, his face is a little bit different than your face, oh. right? The, these very small little teeth that almost look like baby teeth mm -hmm. um, is, is characteristic of the disorder. His skin is thicker, and the shape of his fingers where they kind of, they don't, they're not square at the end. They they're come pointed. Or, they're pointed. And uh, it's inherited uh, from both sides of the family. Can they be genetically hereditary? In many communities, when things like this happen, they believe that they've somehow been cursed, um, they've done something wrong. A portion of these children have a brain abnormality called moya moya, which is a Japanese word for a puff of vessels. That um, because everything is small, their vessels that feed their brain and their other organs are also very narrow. So that requires a MRI angiogram to detect. It's a special test MRI the Karnapenlaya. The good news is he's gotten to 19 and hasn't had any complications from that. But you know, if you asked me in a perfect world, what were the things that we would worry about and, and do? Um, one, we would worry about making sure that he doesn't have these narrow vessels in his brain because if they're there, one would always worry that you could have a stroke just like an old person has narrow vessels. ਮੈਂ <laughs> In recent years, Western media has given primordial dwarfism increased exposure, making the public more aware of the rare condition. Knowledge about dwarfism in India is very limited. Neither Romeo or his parents are aware of any other primordial dwarfs in the world. It's so nice to meet you. Yeah. Very nice to meet you. Gary Parker has been photographing primordial doors for over 15 years and has invited Romeo to see some of his work. My mission with dwarfism is to enlighten the world. I firmly believe that familiarity breeds acceptance. Bridget is much smaller than you. She is 17 pounds. 17 pounds. But she's 19 years old. She's very sweet, tiny, 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 this big. This is the first time Romeo has been made aware of other people with his condition. Bridget is very mature. She's a, a senior in high school. And Bradley is a gymnast. Oh, wow, that's great. Gymnast, he does flips. Kennedy is probably the most famous primordial dwarf in the world. She has a television feature called Kennedy's World. And this is Kristen Riley. Now she's graduated from college. And the oldest primordial that we know about is around 50. And she's fine. She's fine. Right this way. Gary has invited Romeo to take part in the production of a photography book celebrating the lives of primordial dwarves. Nice, nice. There it is, yes. The integrity of how you present these people is really important. Um, I, I, the last thing I would ever want to participate in would be anything resembling a freak show. Over your head, yes, yes. In real life, if a little person were to walk into the room, it's not cool to stare at them. But you can stare at a photograph, no problem. Beautiful, yes. 
the more familiar they become, the less likely they are to think of little people as strange or weird or mystical or any of the things that in the past people have often thought. Gary's portfolio of little people, the largest of its kind, has given the family an insight into a world they were previously unaware of. This is what we have done before. We have done this kind of child. But we have seen one of the kids that have done this kind of child. But the kids are still there. The kids are still there. The kids are still there. <laughs> My goodness, I think this is going to work. Romeo has every characteristic of most primordial dwarfs that I know. They tend to be happy. They tend to be uh, social. They're just, they're, they're awesome. Tere sune ke dille vich haan honey, tere bakde ke sune vich taan honey, tere dille vich vich naan honey, shorab ki, tere vich tere pal vich. Well, this is fun. I could, I could hang out with you all day long make pictures forever. <laughs> but I think we got a good one already. Okay? Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Little people, as dwarves tend to be called in America, have often been limited to stereotypical roles in Hollywood. One person that has resisted the draw of such roles is Jason Acuna from the cult TV show, Jackass. How old is he? Can you how many? 20? 20? 20. Cool. Jason is currently performing in a television acrobatic show. This is Vladimir from Russia. We do bodybuilding together. I pick him up, yeah. This right here is our next routine so far for our next show. I didn't really want to be in Hollywood because most little people out here go to be in Hollywood to be like the elf or, you know, the sidekick. I actually fell into Hollywood because we were doing skateboard videos. And in between the skateboarding, we did jackass stuff. Ready? For me, there's really no frustration of stereotypes because people know who I am, what I do, and what I'm about. I don't go out for the elf roles or anything like that. I just go out for what I do, the talents I have, and that's it. <laughs> For Romeo, probably the only advice I could give him from me would be to find his little niche, what he's into, and just run with it. It takes little encouragement for Romeo to get involved with Jason's stunt team. Yeah! He has to do it with his fist, Vlad. Oh, you got it. <laughs> I hold you. And they will they will be right here to catch. Spellbound by their latest star, the studio comes to a halt for an impromptu photo shoot. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Can you 
कुछ नहीं कुछ तो क्या होना नहीं नहीं पता नहीं पता When photographs of the world's smallest muscle man were viewed globally, Romeo received an invitation to audition with one of the biggest shows in the world. For this, he must travel to America's premier city of entertainment. Las Vegas is famous for putting on some of the most extravagant shows in the world, attracting all manner of performers. The family are attending a performance of Cirque du Soleil's Mystère. Renowned for its spectacular circus entertainment, Cirque du Soleil are a permanent fixture in Vegas, hiring hundreds of different performers for various shows around the city. Tomorrow, Romeo will be meeting the casting director for an audition. Anil is worried about tomorrow's audition. He fears that Cirque du Soleil could be well out of Romeo's league. He basically a good dancer. और सर्कस दे बेच कोई मैंने उन डांसर डांस हाला कोई सीन नहीं बेहद खाई दत्ता बेजिनल मैं कहाँ सागा भी है दे बेच कोई फेट हो सकता है का मैं इस दे बारे कोई खास बहुत ज़्यादा पॉजिटिव नहीं है का Having travelled over 8,000 miles from his home in India, Romeo Dev is about to have an audition with the world famous Cirque du Soleil. Despite Anil's concerns that they may be unimpressed with his son's talents, Romeo appears not to be feeling the pressure. Dance करने जाना है होना। आज dance करने। हाँ। और दो चार लोग होंगे उस टाइम। दस लोग क्या? थोड़े? Cirque du Soleil have roles for over 1,000 performance artists worldwide. Auditions are a continual process. Hello. Hello. You must be Hello. Romeo. Romeo. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Krista Monson. I'm head of casting with Cirque du Soleil's resident shows here in Las Vegas, and it is a true pleasure. It is a true pleasure. Thank you for being Thank here with us today. A pleasure. Well, we have one role. 
uh, in our in one of our touring shows called Corteo, and it is a small person, and he's partnered with a, a female, and sh they do an adagio duet. So they do hand balancing. They use so it does require a very a strong upper body, but it's very charismatic, and I think Romeo might be really interesting in that part. You look like um, you're ready to uh, perform today. Yeah. Mm. First, Romeo will be tested for his strength Perfect. and flexibility. Well, then he will get to show off so we'll his dancing skills. Romeo. Can you do the splits? No? Is it a hard one? Yeah, I don't think he's going to no. be able to do that. Okay, even yeah. like this? That's okay? That's good? Okay, good. Now, Romeo, can you take your arms and go up the rope safely? Okay. So can't do it. Okay, no problem. Okay. Good. Like straight. Thank you. After identifying some restrictions in his flexibility, Romeo's dancing will have to do the talking. Thank you. Thank you, Romeo. I saw a sparkle in his eye when I first met him, and a style, not because of his physical shape, but because the way he looked at you. It was, it was, it, he just doesn't look at you straight on. He looks at you with an angle or a twist or a something or a, so it says something else. And when the music turned on, something else happened. It looked like an improvisation, which is kind of special because it looked like it was just him Turn the music on and this is what you get. I like that. Bye bye, Kanye. Bye, Romeo! <laughs> I think there's a very good opportunity for him to get a call in the future. I astonished to see that they, they recognize his talent. She was very impressed and she said to me that your son is very talented. Then I was so happy, so I cannot tell you. After the audition, Romeo is very happy. He wants to live here. He do not uh, I think he do not want to go to India because he is very happy in this city. Back in LA, the family are getting ready to return to India. There, they will have to wait and see if a job opportunity arises for Romeo back in the US. Although Romeo is anxious to return to work in America, Anil is content knowing that his son is respected by people on foreign shores. लेकिन क्योंकि हुन उस दी टैलेंट नु सारी दुनिया जान गई है क्योंकि असि इथे जिस मकसद ले आए थे वो मकसद पूरा हो गया हुन लगदा है ओ हिसाब नहीं एक रब दा वरदान है 